Do you have a sweet tooth that sometimes causes you to overindulge? Well, guess what? We've got you covered today. Carrie Glassman, registered dietitian and nutritionist and author of The O2 Diet, is here to help us indulge in our sweet cravings while keeping, of course, our waistlines in check. Carrie, how are you? I am well, and I have a sweet tooth, so I understand all of this very well. You say that there are many types of sweet cravings. Right. So everyone's had a craving, right? So cravings come from either nutritional deficiencies, environmental and mood factors, or habits and behaviors. So for example, maybe you go into the environment of your grandmother's house and you become nostalgic for the chocolate chip cookies that she used to feed you. Now, that's a pretty positive craving experience, but that's just an example of ways that cravings creep in. And we may also have cravings for the simple reason that we haven't eaten enough throughout the day. So our body is looking for sugar because it's actually fast energy. Even if it's not good energy, it's fast energy for us. So, you know, you want to be able to satisfy that sweet craving or, or that sweet desire. But there's a way to do it and maybe not always the healthiest way, but in a healthier way. What are some ways we can do it? And what you just said was so key, in a healthier way. So it doesn't have to be the perfect food, but it can be healthier. So think about what type of craving you're having. So if you have a cold craving, maybe for something like ice cream or something like that, something like as simple as frozen grapes might do the trick because mm -hmm. it might just be that cold thing that you're craving. And obviously we know grapes are loaded with nutrition. Banana ice cream, it's so simple to make. This is a one ingredient ice cream, so easy to make. The recipes are on your site, so everyone can get it there. But just it just gives you that satisfaction of ice cream, but it's bananas loaded with all of the nutritional value. So let's say you're having that gooey craving, right? Sometimes we want something gooey, like a candy bar. Here is dates. So dates obviously are a whole food. They've got antioxidants and fiber, and you can make them easily portion controlled. Have two dates or even one with a little bit of almond butter or peanut butter. And here I have a little sprinkle of a sea salt. So it really satisfies that gooey craving and still again in a portion control. And then we have even over here, you can make a healthier version of a brownie. So instead of just having that brownie, that might be that packaged processed brownie that you normally go for, make a healthier option. Maybe have some coconut oil, a healthier type of flour, and perhaps using avocado in there for the consistency instead of, again, that traditional sugar-laden brownie. And then even if you want something hot to sip on, maybe have green tea with a little bit of dark chocolate, just a little bit instead of having a whole big bag of M&Ms. It'll help you eat that chocolate a little bit slower. We know chocolate has some nutritional value. Or here, and this is another recipe we have on your site, a, a hot chocolate made with cinnamon and ginger, loaded mm. with antioxidants. I love that. You know what I like to make at home? I take some strawberries, I take some dark chocolate, uh, or some blueberries, I love berries, and I dip it in there a little bit, put them in the freezer, and boy, are they good. That is the perfect combo. You're getting the antioxidants and the fiber and the little bit of extra boost of nutrition from that dark chocolate. There you go. Well, Carrie Glassman, it's always great talking to you. Thanks so much for all your information. You are so welcome. So good seeing you as well. All right, see you soon. And for more healthy, sweet treats, just go to our website, thedoctorstv.com.